This woman's mouth and but swap places during her birthday candle blowing. <laughs> the woman's name is Mary, and at the age of 18, she is in the bloom of youth. Watching couples on TV, she longs for a love story of her own. However, her appearance limits her. No one dares to get close. Even self is rejected on social media, flagged for violating rules. Her face brings her distress, but it's something she can't change. She has a photo album collecting beautiful lips from various magazines. She often fantasizes about having a normal appearance. If she had pretty lips, she could charm countless young men. However, reality is harsh. One day at a restaurant, she ordered tomato soup. When the owner saw her, laughter couldn't be contained. Mary was used to it. In the past, she might have complained, but now she quietly took out her eating tools. Due to her body structure, she can only consume liquid food. She inserts a tube into her pants, then pours the tomato soup through a funnel. It's a bizarre way to eat, a meal for the 21st century. After enjoying her food, Mary prepares to leave. Unexpectedly, she encounters two troublemakers outside. Their appearance is avant-garde, but seeing Mary, even stranger than them, sparks their interest. They insist on getting Mary's contact info, wanting to shoot videos together. With Mary's peculiar looks, it would surely go viral. Mary, uninterested, swiftly handles the troublemakers, grabs her back, opens her car door, and speeds away. Thinking about the day's events, Mary feels aggrieved. Why does she look like this? Why do people around her mock and insult her? Lost in thought, her car suddenly jolts. A crash is heard, accompanied by screams. Mary hits the brakes, turns to see a purple-haired boy. To her surprise, he smiles, showing no pain. It's the first time someone has smiled kindly at her. Feeling warmth mixed with unease, fearing consequences, she chooses hit and run. Back home, Mary replays the accident, and the boys smile in her mind. That news follows. The news reports the purple-haired boy she hit has died. She blames herself. It's her fault he died, due to her hit and run. Her father, unaware of Mary's turmoil, has prepared a gift for her birthday. Opening the box, it's a beautiful unicorn headpiece. Her father says wearing it will prevent others from mocking her. He insists on taking a photo. This shatters Mary's self-esteem. Even her father is repulsed by her appearance. Feeling unloved, the guilt from the accident, and the self-loathing combine. Mary contemplates suicide on a bridge. As she's about to jump, she becomes dizzy and collapses. The car rolled over the boy's legs, yet it did not raise sound, still wearing a smile. The boy's name is Jack, and he has a unique love for the color purple. From his entire appearance, it's evident he's a boy with a feminine heart. He harbors an unrealistic dream of turning into a purple mermaid, allowing him to explore the vast ocean. However, his legs pose the first major obstacle, so he decides to get rid of them. He attempted to cut his legs with a small knife, but despite numerous attempts, the legs remain scarred and unaltered. Seeing her son self-harming, his mother is furious and upset. Believing he has a mental illness, she takes him to a psychologist. The diagnosis reveals Jack has a body dysmorphic disorder, leading to self-harm. The root cause is likely the lack of paternal love. Hearing this, the mother loses her composure. She shouts at her son, berating her absent husband as a heartless man. Jack's father disappeared since Jack's birth, over a decade ago, abandoning the mother and son. In the mother's eyes, he is already dead. Mother and son quarrel fiercely, and Jack runs away. No one understands his internal pain and the desire to become a mermaid. At night, he lies by the roadside, stretching his legs, hoping a car will help fulfill his dream. Unexpectedly, Mary, distressed by her strange appearance, drives by without noticing the legs and runs over them. With a scream, Jack shows a satisfied smile. Finally, he can become a mermaid. However, dreams are beautiful, and reality is cruel. Jack loses his life due to excessive bleeding. Seeing her son in the morgue, the mother is overwhelmed with grief, regretting their argument. At this moment, Jack's absent father appears after over a decade. Seeing the heartless man, the mother freezes. She then unleashes years of resentment on her husband. The husband finally reveals the reason for his departure. He suffers from pedophilia, fearing he might harm his son uncontrollably after Jack's birth. Therefore, he chose to leave before Jack was born, not out of irresponsibility, but to protect Jack. The mother finally realizes. However, the deep-seated hatred accumulated over the years isn't easily dissipated. The mother wears a purple mermaid dress, fulfilling her son's last wish. Meanwhile, the father, going through Jack's belongings, discovers a photo, a picture of himself with a mermaid tattoo on his arm. He understands that Jack's desperate desire to become a mermaid stemmed from him, the lack of paternal love. Seeing the mermaid tattoo, Jack innocently believed that by becoming a mermaid, he could meet his longed for father and receive the love everyone else had. The father, touching his own mermaid tattoo, bursts into tears, realizing that his avoidance ultimately led to his son's death. Gazing at his lifeless son in the morgue, he is engulfed in profound self-blame. The man has a peculiar taste for women with facial deformities, and his girlfriend is his ideal goddess. 
However, his girlfriend isn't interested in his ordinary appearance. She has long been infatuated with a man who suffered facial burns. This man, named Jack, was once a handsome guy but lost his prideful looks in a fire. So, he dreams of having enough money for plastic surgery. The three of them become entangled in this complicated love triangle. One day, the man is foolishly grinning at a photo of his girlfriend, envisioning a lifelong commitment. Just as he's about to finish, his mother appears from behind, discovering what her son is up to. Unable to accept that her future daughter-in-law looks like this, she can't fathom how she gave birth to such a son. The mother gives her son to choices, or the girlfriend. Clearly underestimating her son's perversion, he decisively chooses his girlfriend. The mother is infuriated, almost fainting from the anger. As expected, she severs ties with him and kicks him out. Unfazed, he packs his bags and goes to his girlfriend's house, pouring out his love to her. The son hopes for a happy life with his girlfriend, imagining raising a bunch of children together. He expects his girlfriend to be moved, but shockingly, she immediately suggests a breakup. This hits him like a bolt from the blue, leaving the man bewildered. Walking alone on the street, torn between his mother and his girlfriend, he realizes he's been abandoned on both ends. Feeling disheartened, he believes there's nothing left in this world worth clinging to. So, he comes to a bridge, ready to win it all. Just as he's about to jump, a phone rings. Walking closer, he finds a woman lying on the ground. It's her father calling, and as he's about to answer, the woman regains consciousness. He is instantly shocked by the sleeping beauty's beauty, the most beautiful woman he has ever seen, with an anus on her face. In just a glance, he erases his ex-girlfriend from his memory. In an instant, he falls deeply in love with this woman. He escorts her home and learns from her father that she has been ridiculed all her life because of the anus on her face. No one wants to get close, let alone date her. Being single for 20 years, she accidentally hit and killed a purple-haired man yesterday. The guilt and self-loathing led her to contemplate suicide. Perhaps it's fate that two suicidal people meet, sparking the flames of love. The man is smitten with the woman at first sight, filled with love in his eyes. The woman also learns from the news that the purple-haired man had a mental illness and died by suicide, lifting the heavy burden off her heart. Under the man's passionate pursuit, the woman succumbs completely. Two individuals who once pursued their ends unilaterally finally come together. In the movie's conclusion, they embrace and kiss in front of their own mansion, beginning a life of happiness. As the saying goes, everyone has their preferred type. Looks are innate, so don't fret over them. Confidence is the most beautiful trait. As long as you believe in love, someday everyone will find their true love.